the only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hey YouTube, this is Itchy News to report to you. Um, I've been sickness in my family for the past few days. Uh, my daughter got caught in a rainstorm. Um, she was barefoot and ran out to her car and she was soaked pretty bad and didn't tell me about it until the next day when she broke out in a rash all over and um, I had her take a baking soda bath she's been really tired ever since with symptoms of the flu and yesterday morning she woke up and this is what her arm looks like so of course we went to the doctor right away um, I asked him if this could be from radiation in the rain. Um, of course he had no idea what I was talking about and I had to explain to him um, the research that I've been doing on Fukushima and the levels and how high the levels are around here. Um, he conceded that it did look like a burn but he was concerned that there might be a bacterial infection also starting. So he put her on um, and antibiotics and uh, three different creams and it actually looks like this today it's not hurting anywhere near as bad as it was and then this evening I started looking at some YouTube videos that got posted today one is uh, a gentleman in California who measured very high levels of radiation coming out of the air filters and the HEPA filters in his home. Hey, folks, Michael Collins. I will put a link to this video at the bottom. Um, they're extraordinarily high and these filters were just off of um, air that's been circulating for a month. He had, had cleaned them a month ago. And then I saw another video this evening from Dutch Sense, and he had been noticing on the ionic filter running um, on the air in his house that there's purple flashes that are occurring inside of here, which could be from hot particles on um, the ionic surface. It's like a metal surface and he took it out and he wiped it clean and let um, the machine run again for an hour and when he took a reading off this filtered air after an hour it measured 349 counts per minute that is just filtering the air in his house for one hour now if you remember the video I put out at the beginning of this week the jet stream is covering a very large portion of the country. Um, the heaviest rainfall, according to NOAA, was going to be in this area and in St. Louis. Um, Dutch Sense, who put out the 349 count per minute video, is in St. Louis. And I went over to any news just to see what other people are reporting. And on November the 14th, someone in southeast Michigan, which is where I live, recorded 1,230 CPMs in the rainfall. We are in big trouble. And if you haven't talked to people yet about this, start emailing them tonight. Start going on Facebook. Put this video up. Link to the other videos that are on here. I had a feeling when this whole situation started that there was a potential for this to be an extinction level event and the timeline for this is moving closer and closer to now. The timeline is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. It was bad enough four months ago. It was bad enough last month that these readings are just unbelievable. And I'll put a link to any news so you can see what other people are recording around the country.